Beautiful people, welcome back to another episode of the Ignite Your Purpose Show podcast vlog. It is yours truly, the storyteller, the man who's telling stories. Every day, beautiful people, I am talking about longevity. Say the word with me, longevity through a healthy lifestyle, beautiful people. That includes a mix of the mental, physical, and spiritual knowledge, something I deemed the mind, body, soul trifecta, and I'm telling you stories daily of things that directly or indirectly happen in my life and through my Soto Zen knowledge, through uh, the mindfulness studies, and through actually looking deep into my soul for the last 10 years and figuring out what the hell's what, I kind of analyze, make myself better, and then spit them then back at you. So having said that, last night, last night, beautiful people, I decided to take some time to myself. Uh, meaning I took some time off and I did two things. I read some documents. One of them was a study on a 200 country study. All right. And one was the new Avicii movie. Um, both studies broke my heart. But if you can get to a point where you understand that everything's happening no matter what, no matter how we think about it, how we feel about it. And I've been talking about this evolution, this consciousness happenings, um, uh, you know, this this energy shift however you want to put it however you feel comfortable you can talk at god you can talk universe i don't care it's happening no matter what um and we're just kind of humans here along for the ride right so the study i read and this goes with the awakening i feel or the consciousness evolution however you want to say it the study now studies you can be for, you can be against, you can find one that says one thing, you can find the exact same study that finds the exact opposite. But the one that I read, all right, 200, 200 countries, uh, something like 25,000 people, I believe, and 85% of us, that is all of us beautiful people, that is us, the people that are fortunate, fortunate enough to have a job on this beautiful planet of ours, 85% of us, are unhappy with them, what we are doing for a living. Is that not mind frigging boggling? 85% of us don't like what we're doing. And we've basically given up and just do it to be in and part of this matrix to pay the bills because then we buy new things that make us are forcing us to go back to work. All right. That's one thing. And myself included in this, some of the deep conversations we've been having, um, uh, in our courses and just behind the scenes, so many of us feel this way. I've been talking to gentlemen who've been doing their job just as long as I have, 15 years, 14 years, 10 years, 20 years, people older, people younger, five years, and just absolutely, since the solstice, interesting, since, since this new year, um, have been, have just admitted to themselves that they do not like what they are doing. And that is leading to, I want to say, a, a dark spot. So, that, you know, you kind of got to hit rock bottom before you bounce back up, right? And being able to admit to ourselves that we don't like where we're at is hard. It's difficult. There's going to be a bunch of turmoil to go through. But guess what? We get to come out on the other side. And on the other side is a beautiful thing, right? It also gets me to talking about the Avicii show that I watched. Man, that was crazy. Um, here was a kid that you have to just watch it. It's uh, not so much about the music for me. <clears throat> I love some of his songs, to be honest, but uh, just seeing how he came up, seeing how everything unfolded. And you can use that as a learning curve, just like me. I always talk about the mirror, right? He found out that there was things in his work, which was the touring aspect of it, which, was, which is actually a major part of the music industry, right? That he did not like. And he tried, he told people he wanted out of it. He canceled shows and then there was lawsuits. And then the machine just forced him to be into going to do what he didn't want to do. Does that sound no different than each one of us? The machine being the fact that we have to be in part of this matrix. We need to put food over our, <laughs> we need to put shelter over our heads. We need to put food on the table. So we keep going back, right? Because we have things that need to be paid for. Maybe we have kids, maybe we have wives, maybe we have whatever but absolutely no different. We keep going back to things that we do not want to do. All right. His situation a little different than ours. He worked himself into a crazy stupor. And in the end, as if you know, Avicii, he ended his life. All right. That is the, the be at all 
of it. That is the the end of the road scenario right there where he couldn't find his way out of the issues he was going through. And you're probably all feeling it right now because I know I am. Uh, the shift that's happened, this energetic funk that we're in, the change. Um, we're all realizing, you know, am I really doing what I'm meant to do? I'm at a certain age or I'm, I'm just starting out or I'm at the end of the road, whatever it may be for each one of us individually. Uh, we are definitely starting to awaken to the possibilities that there is other ways to make money or there are things that we can do to stop spending the money or buying the things we don't need to buy. But we are all, I think we're all starting to wake up basically is what I'm trying to say. And don't let yourself become so entrenched in the depression of it all that you do get to the end of the road where, and you're, you're so unhappy and so regretful. I think we need to start looking at things a little bit more brightly. Uh, and, and I say that from myself, man, because I am so, I have been so trained to believe in that immigrant mentality. Whereas, you know, we came over here, we just got to work finger to bone, to put food on the table and die with some money. I don't even know why that's a thing other than it used to be a thing. But even then, if you go back to the old country, man, they, they don't work like they do over here. Are they happier? There's studies out there that suggest, oh, hell, yes, they do. You talk about the blue zones of the world, which is a whole other show we could get into. But these people who live rather simply, fulfilled, have a roof over the head and have food on the table, you know, without all the fancy schmancy, they tend to live the longest. There must be a reason behind that. Yet us first world countries are stressed to the wazoo. We don't even like what we're doing, 85% of us, right? Um, and in the worst case scenario, you will end your own life. Or you will put on mass amounts of weight. You will be depressed. You will create disease in the body because we are so unhappy. But we won't admit to ourselves that we are living our own lie. I did this about two years ago. I admitted to myself I was living the lie. I, was, I admitted myself and I continue to try and better myself every day. It's not an overnight success story, people. It's not an overnight pill. It is something that's taken me a lot of time, a lot of hours, a lot of mental uh, training and fortitude and some serious sleepless nights, some serious stress-filled days. But I have come out on the other side, putting in 10 years and 10,000 hours of work to figure it all out. Yes, I have come out the other side, but I'm still learning beautiful people. So if this can give you a little focus, a little insight into what is actually going on on this beautiful planet, let's start with admitting something's wrong. Let's not blame the external. It, I, I can't blame the fact that we came from an immigrant family, that I have this immigrant mentality. It's not their fault. It's my fault that I continue to stick with the program and the propaganda that had been install, instilled in me. Uh, and until I took responsibility for me, that means nobody else, just me, that's where things began to change. So we do have the power. There is a bright light at the end of the day. So take pride in that. Take power in that. Do your best. Forget the rest. And I will see you tomorrow. I appreciate your time. I appreciate every one of you listening, joining the podcast, spitting some venom, and doing what you do. You are all blessed. We are all truly blessed. I love you all. Peace. And I am out.